Electrokinetic Technologies is proud to present the Breeze Electric Transport Chair. Safely move patients through hospitals and care facilities and easily maneuver through hallways, rooms, and elevators. The Breeze powerful drivetrain puts less stress on both caregivers and patients. Features include a patient capacity of 750 pounds, one and a half cubic feet of storage space beneath the seat and a large pouch behind the seat, standard ivy pole, dual hand controls with automatic neutral and variable speed throttle, flip-up armrest, non-marking maintenance-free tires, enclosed maintenance-free drive, swing-away footrests, and anti-tip casters. The optional medical gas cylinder holder can hold both D and E style cylinders. The Breeze has two options for IV poles, a single hook non-adjustable pole which comes standard, or a four hook pole with single hand adjustment. To adjust, simply grasp onto the pole and push up on the lock. The height can be adjusted to any height from 65 inches to 82 inches. Other options include seat widths from 22 inches to 30 inches in a variety of colors, shoulder harness configurations, oxygen tank holder, foot rests. The Breeze can safely transport patients up to 750 pounds on inclines up to 6 degrees. Be sure to never exceed these ratings. Before using the chair, be sure to read important warnings and cautions outlined in the owner's manual. There are a number of user controls on the Breeze that you should become familiar with. The key switch is used to turn the Breeze on and off. It can be removed and stored to control access to the unit. After the key switch is turned, it will power up the unit. The battery charge indicator will light up using three red, four yellow, and three green LED lights to indicate the current level of charge. As power is used, the green, then yellow, then finally the red will turn off. To control the top speed of the breeze, turn the dial left to the turtle position for lower speed or right to the rabbit for higher speed. The breeze can travel in between one and a half and three miles per hour. Adjust anywhere between these speeds. Press the horn to warn others that you are coming. The emergency stop button brings the breeze to a complete stop and the battery indicator will flash. To reset, turn the key switch off and then on. The lights will reappear and the unit is again ready for operation. And again, the speed control dial allows control of the speed and direction of the unit. When loading a patient, be sure that the breeze is on a clean and level surface. First, lock the rear casters to prevent the unit from moving. To do so, align the rear casters so they are facing forward, then move the locks up. This will prevent the chair from moving. When side loading a patient, the armrest can be raised or removed. When front loading a patient, the leg rest can be moved to the side. Once the patient is loaded, an optional seat belt can be adjusted to fit to size. Lower or reattach the armrest and adjust the leg rest so your patient is comfortable. Once your patient is safely loaded and comfortable, it is now safe to turn on the breeze. Turn the key switch to the on position by turning it forward. The battery indicator will now come on and indicate that the breeze is ready for use. If lights are flashing or only the red lights are on, stop and consult the owner's manual for further instructions. When operating in close quarters, or if you are new to driving the breeze, we recommend that you set the speed to the turtle setting by turning the dial completely counterclockwise. To drive the breeze, start by placing both hands on the steering bars. Release the brakes on both rear casters by moving the locks down. Place one of your thumbs on either the left or right accelerator. You don't need to use both. Move forward by pressing the speed control toward the patient and move backward by pressing the speed control down away from the patient. The speed control has a factory program delay and acceleration profile to ensure safe and measured acceleration. The further you push the control, the faster the breeze will go, similar to a car. Steer the breeze the same way you would a manual wheelchair. To stop, remove your thumb from the accelerator. The breeze will come to a complete stop. The breeze can also be moved manually without the power drive. To do so, unlock the holding brake on the motor under the front seat. To disengage, move the brake lever up and turn off the power to the unit. Now the unit can be moved manually. Only release the brake on a level and flat surface, never on an incline, because the breeze will be free to move. To re-engage the drive system, lower the brake lever and turn the power back on. When the battery charge indicator displays only red and yellow lights, it is time to recharge the breeze. 
To charge, remove the power cord from the pouch on the back of the seat. Locate the battery charger under the back of the frame. Then, insert the female end of the power cord into the charger and the male end of the cord into a standard AC outlet. Turn the power on and try to move the unit forward or backward. If properly connected, the breeze should not move. This feature ensures not only safety, but that the connections have been made correctly. The outlet has power and the unit is charging. Turn off the power to the unit while charging. If the breeze does move, check the power cord connections. If that does not correct the problem, try a different outlet or have the maintenance department check the outlet you are using. If this still does not correct the problem, the battery charger system and batteries need to be serviced. The Breeze has a smart charge system to eliminate overcharging of the batteries. The Breeze can be recharged whenever it is not in use. Always remember to remove the power cord and stow when charging is complete and you are ready to use the unit. Only trained staff should operate the Breeze. Before operating the Breeze, make sure that you have read and understood the topics covered in the owner's manual. Never attempt to move a patient that weighs more than 750 pounds with the breeze and never attempt to go up or down a ramp with an incline greater than 6 degrees. Before using the breeze, make sure that it is in safe working order. Contact your maintenance department if you feel it might be malfunctioning. Always load patients on a clean and level surface. Do this with the rear casters locked. If you are in tight quarters or until you are comfortable driving the breeze, set the speed control to low or the turtle. And finally, for cleaning instructions, please consult your owner's manual. Thank you for choosing the breeze. When you safely transport patients with the breeze, you not only help reduce employee injuries from strain and fatigue, you also help boost employee morale and productivity while improving your ergonomic footprint. Enjoy using the breeze from Electrokinetic Technologies your ergonomic transport solution.